The Swedish Global Eye Squadron represents a significant advancement in Sweden's airborne early warning and control capabilities. Developed by Saab, the Global Eye integrates the Eerie Eye Extended Range Radar and a suite of advanced sensors, making it one of the most sophisticated surveillance aircraft in the world. This system is installed on the Bombardier Global 6500 aircraft platform, providing long-range detection and operational endurance exceeding 11 hours. With its ability to monitor air, sea and land domains simultaneously, the Global Eye enhances Sweden's situational awareness and strengthens national defence. In June 2022, the Swedish Defence Material Administration signed a contract with Saab for the acquisition of two Global Eye aircraft, valued at 7.3 billion CK, equivalent $710 million, with an option for two additional units. In June 2024, FMV exercised the option for a third aircraft to compensate for the transfer of two Saab 340 AEWNC aircraft to Ukraine. The Global Eye aircraft, designated as S106 in Swedish service, will be delivered starting in 2027, reinforcing Sweden's air surveillance network. The strategic importance of the Global Eye is evident in Sweden's efforts to promote regional defence cooperation. Discussions with Finland and Denmark regarding a shared intelligence capability have gained momentum, with Global Eye positioned as the centrepiece of this initiative. At the National Security Conference in Salon in January 2025, Sweden's opposition leader Magdalena Andersson emphasised the value of a joint Nordic fleet of Global Eye aircraft. She argued that such cooperation would provide surveillance coverage from the Southern Baltic Sea to the Arctic Circle, countering emerging security threats, particularly those posed by Russian military activities in the region. The proposed acquisition of a fourth Global Eye aircraft would significantly enhance intelligence sharing and reinforce territorial security. The Global Eye's capabilities are particularly relevant given the evolving security landscape in Northern Europe. Recent incidents, such as submarine cable disruptions and increased underwater activity linked to Russia's Ghost Fleet, highlight the growing need for advanced surveillance platforms. The Eerie ER radar, mounted atop the aircraft's fuselage, boasts an extended detection range of up to 550 kilometers at high altitude. This provides Sweden and potential Nordic partners with the ability to detect and track multiple aerial and maritime threats in real time. Additionally, its Sea Spray 7500E radar, electro-optical infrared sensors and SIGINT capabilities enhance its versatility across different operational scenarios. The Global Eye provides not only early warning and situational awareness, but also a crucial force multiplier effect that allows Sweden to optimize its air defense and rapid response measures. By having such advanced detection capabilities, Sweden reduces the risk of surprise incursions into its airspace and maritime zones. This is especially vital given the increased militarization of the Baltic region, with Russia continuously testing NATO's and Sweden's readiness through unannounced military exercises and simulated attack drills. The globalized sophisticated multi-sensor integration means that it can serve as a powerful node in Sweden's wider command and control network, linking ground-based radar installations, naval forces and fighter squadrons in a cohesive defense architecture. In a broader context, Sweden's Global Eye fleet positions the country as a leader in airborne surveillance among Nordic nations. When compared to regional competitors, Sweden's investment in Global Eye offers a considerable technological advantage. Finland currently lacks a dedicated AEW and C platform of this calibre, while Norway operates the ageing Boeing E3A Sentry as part of NATO's fleet. Denmark relies primarily on ground-based radar and allied intelligence sharing rather than possessing its own AEW and C capability. In contrast, the Global Eye provides Sweden with an independent state-of-the-art surveillance system capable of supporting both national and collective defence objectives. 
Beyond the Nordic region, the Global Eye has proven itself as a highly capable system. The United Arab Emirates, UAE, has been a key customer ordering five Global Eye aircraft since 2015. The UAE's experience with the platform demonstrates its reliability and effectiveness, particularly in detecting aerial threats and monitoring maritime activity. By mid-2024, Saab had successfully delivered all five aircraft to the UAE, cementing the globalized reputation as a world-class AEWNC solution. As Sweden integrates the Global Eye into its air force, its operational doctrine will shift toward enhanced real-time surveillance and rapid response capabilities. The aircraft's ability to function autonomously or transmit data to ground-based stations reduces the burden on traditional fighter patrols and ground-based radar systems. Moreover, by leveraging ACER radar technology and advanced electronic warfare systems, Sweden ensures its defence forces remain agile in the face of hybrid threats. The Swedish government's continued investment in the Global Eye underscores a long-term commitment to modernising its, its military infrastructure. The aircraft's acquisition aligns with Sweden's broader defence strategy, particularly as the country prepares to join NATO. A strengthened AEWNC capability not only bolsters national security, but also reinforces Sweden's role as a key contributor to regional stability. The deployment of the Global Eye also presents Sweden with strategic flexibility, allowing the aircraft to operate in multiple roles beyond traditional military surveillance. The aircraft can be deployed for disaster response, search and rescue operations, and humanitarian missions. Its powerful sensors and real-time data sharing capabilities make it a valuable asset for monitoring natural disasters, tracking illicit activities such as smuggling and illegal fishing, and supporting civil security agencies. Furthermore, the globalized long operational endurance allows it to cover vast distances, making it suitable for missions beyond Sweden's immediate airspace. This could be particularly beneficial for Sweden's allies, as the aircraft can provide intelligence sharing capabilities for NATO and other partner nations in case of a crisis. The potential integration of Sweden's Global Eye with NATO's wider surveillance network would significantly enhance the Alliance's overall situational awareness, particularly in Northern Europe and the Arctic. As Sweden continues discussions with Finland and Denmark about a joint intelligence network, the possibility of expanding Globalize role into a shared Nordic surveillance force remains a compelling prospect. By pooling resources and sharing operational control, the Nordic nations could develop a highly effective early warning system that benefits all members while also reducing individual costs. Such a move would align with broader European trends toward increased defence cooperation and burden sharing. In conclusion, Sweden's adoption of the Global Eye platform marks a major step forward in its defence capabilities. The aircraft's multi-domain surveillance functions, long-range detection capabilities and interoperability with allied forces provide Sweden with a cutting-edge intelligence tool. In the face of increasing geopolitical tensions, Sweden's Global Eye Squadron will serve as a critical asset, ensuring enhanced security, robust deterrence and greater strategic autonomy in the Nordic and Baltic regions. With its ability to counter a range of modern threats, Global Eye will be a cornerstone of Sweden's defence strategy for years to come, cementing the country's position as a leader in aerial surveillance and reconnaissance technology.